Elections are about choices. And many times it's not just about what party to choose or which politician to choose, but it's about choosing to either vote or to stay at home. And in 2015 elections, 68 million people could vote. They had voters' cards. But 40 million people chose to stay at home. Only 28 million people chose between the two established parties. The majority brought us the government that has ruled us over the last four years. Because in democracy, it's always the will of the majority over the minority. So it is the 40 million that stayed at home that really brought us a government that today has put children on the streets, more children on the streets than ever. Now 13.2 million children out of school. It is the, those who decided not to vote, to stay at home, that today have brought unemployment to 18.8% and over 30 million young people that are neither not working or not working in anywhere that they are fulfilling their destinies. It is those people that decided not to vote, to stay at home, that have given us an economy today that is hovering around recession and we can see businesses closing every day. It is those who stayed at home that have given us hospitals without health care and people are dying because there are no doctors and because there are expired drugs. In a sense, it is those who stayed at home that gave us the nation that we have today. So in 2019, the real choice is not between APC or PDP or any of those. The real choice is going to be, should I stay at home or should I not stay at home? It cannot be to stay at home. You must vote. Vote for the new Nigeria that you desire. My name is Fela Grote and I approve this message.